Society in the United States has been shaped by different forms of media. The art used to record the Vietnam War was a major point in shaping the perspective of Americans on the war. The photography allowed a lot to be open for interpretation, and American society was able to shape their opinions on the war from the comfort of their living rooms. Another momentous time in American history was during the time of the Watergate scandal, whereas new outlets used investigative journalistic techniques to expose the government under the Nixon administration. The Nixon administration was one of the most major turning points for the journalistic ways for the amount amount of corruption and sleaziness that happened around that time. The works of investigative journalists and media outlets during this period of time exposed and prevented such cases that being the Watergate scandal scandal in Pentagon Papers. They allowed the public to be further informed and involved with the event that the government was trying to sweep under the rug. Rather than letting them get away with the treasonous acts that were hiding behind the big white walls in Washington, D.C., they were caught red-handed. Nonetheless, this wasn't the only way media has played a significant role to the American public. It isn't in just governmental-based scenarios that the subject can impact society. For instance, within medical environments and the media within the diverse portraits they display can impact society in its own way as well. These diverse portraits present controversial and diverse topics at points and can lead to further amounts of conversation and scenarios to occur. Because of such examples, these art forms and those of Vietnam War photography and investigative journalism all have their own individual impact on society during the time, some of those leaving the public with a heavier impact. The Vietnam War was an integral part of shaping how American society, at the time, and even today, looks at war. Prior to the Vietnam War, the United States had always come out of wars victorious. There were never losses or huge questions surrounding why we, as a country, may have partaken in a war. Vietnam, however, was different in that the United States did not win and continuously took losses throughout the war. The way that society took in the Vietnam War is another way in which the war was so exceptionally different from prior wars that the United States had fought in. The fighting, battles, and essentially every portion of the Vietnam War was projected back home to the American public. The photographs that were taken during the war were simply projected stateside for the American public and other parts of the world. This was the first time that the public was able to interpret a war without simply being told the information in newspapers or over the radio. Americans were able to sit on their couches where they watched men die for their country. Unfortunately, because the Vietnam War was such a quote-unquote failure, society saw this war as just that. Society took in the soldiers and what they were fighting for harshly. Americans back home determined that war was unnecessary and a waste of American lives. The United States was not fighting for the United States in the Vietnam War, and every life lost to the public was interpreted as wasteful, resulting in anti-war demonstrations and a new look on war for the American people and society. The photographs of the Vietnam War were integral for how society interpreted the war and future wars to come. Looking back at photographs of the war, it is clear to see just how impactful they would have been. Another governmental issue that occurred when the Vietnam War was nearing its end was that of the Watergate scandal. This was an act by the U.S. government in which illegal activities were occurring and exposed through media outlets just a year after the Pentagon Papers scenario. By using investigative journalism techniques in media outlets, the information was released to the public, informing them upon the illegal activities that they were occurring in the hands of the higher-ups. There was a battle between the journalists and government, once again, in what was the right thing to do in the situation and as to what had actually happened. In Embodying Deep Throat, Mark Felt and the Collective Memory of Watergate, by Matt Carlson, the entirety of the trial was discussed in addition to the roles the media and journalists had within the scandal. The emphasis on the role of the journalists at the time was highlighted greatly for they were benefiting the general public once again. Just as they had done so in releasing the Pentagon Papers and exposing such treasonous acts, the news outlets were nothing short of serving their duties to the citizens of the United States. 
and they were able to uphold the government officials to as high of standards that they place on those below them. Regarding the medical environments, the source chosen was an article by the name of Deck the Halls with Diverse Portraits. This article explains that people have noticed in medical or healthcare environments that the walls are lined with oil portraits of white gentlemen wearing compassionate expressions and dignified robes or white coats. This issue is that this is no longer accurately representative of the healthcare environment as people from different ethnicities, backgrounds, cultures, and genders come into play. The author wants to encourage people to take note of this so the issue can be fixed and turned more inclusive. The importance of this art is to make everyone feel included and welcomed in these environments. Otherwise, the diversity that is being strived for will never properly be reached. The lack of recognition of diverse workers could go on to affect even the diverse patients. It is possible that they could feel uncomfortable in places where there are only white males being shown off or represented. The article talks about a contest that was created in 2017 called hashtag walls do talk that encouraged medical students to take in these walls and design newer ones more toward diversity and inclusion. They did not want to take away from the existing art that was hung up as a way to diminish those people's accomplishments, but instead they wanted to add to it. The two winning pieces reflected first a group of mostly females and the second a Hispanic female. All right, all right, and at that point, we are going to wrap up our first podcast of the different topics that we were just speaking about. As you all can see, there is a great impact that media and arts have had on this great country and continue to have till this day. They play a factor in all our lives, in all kinds of shapes and formalities, whether that be in the formality of the arts directly, like those of the photographs during the Vietnam War, that of the newspaper works in regards to investigative journalism, or even that of the works found in medical environments, they all have their own individual impacts. Their individual roles in sharing and providing information to the general public makes their significance more important than ever. The media and arts have been a backbone for the American civilization in both culture and spreading information to the general public. There are great deals of conversation that come out of the forms of art, especially those that are discussed within the podcast episode. Once again, we're going to be wrapping up this podcast for all today, and thank you for listening, and have a safe rest of your days, ladies and gentlemen.